Ishpeming, Michigan. We better let Jay handle this one. We've got, he's from Michigan. Wondering about the hydrant pressure when opening the intake valve, if the pump is in idle or in RPM pressure mode, does it harm the pump in any way in any of the positions? Well, you typically are going when you know, I guess your question, I guess. I, guess I think they're, I think they're talking about a governor there, whether oh, you're in RPM okay. mode or in pressure yes. mode. Yes, okay, that makes sense. All right, I was trying to think how our, <laughs> our pump would, uh, would our okay. system would matter there. Um, but yeah, I mean, you typically are changing over at idle or injecting the wood at idle. Um, and as far as the RPM and pressure mode, actually, you'd probably be. Greg probably would be a better. Yeah, it, 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 if you're in RPM mode, basically it's gonna, as you open up the hydrant, you're, let's say you're switching from tank to pump over to hydrant, it's gonna maintain that same RPM speed and what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a higher pressure. You have to take the pressure that you're operating at from tank and add your incoming pressure, which would be the hydrant pressure. Um, if you have it pressure mode, um, that's where your safety is gonna come in because it's gonna recognize that the pressure is increasing and it's going to reduce the RPM or the engine speed uh, to maintain that pressure that you have it set at the pressure mode. So um, as far as harming the pump, I don't, you know, in either one of those, I think we're worried more about the pressure that's going out to the hand line. So if you're in RPM mode, uh, you, you need to take that into consideration if you're bringing in hydro pressure because again, it's going to add that hydro pressure to your, your current discharge pressure. So. Um, typically, you, you'd want to be in that pressure mode so that it has the reaction slows the engine down at that point. Uh, I can't think of any, I mean the engine, the, the pump really isn't going to see, unless you're on a really hot hydrant, uh, it's not going to see any issues with, with pressure. Yeah. The, the only other uh, consideration would be water hammer. Uh, if you have a, a fairly hot hydrant and you open the valve quickly uh, to allow water to enter the pump, there could be a water hammer situation taking place there, but NFPA has addressed that and they do have a requirement for a slow open, slow close valve uh, at, at that hydrant connection. Uh, so that's uh, that should be taken care of. You shouldn't be able to override that. Um, the other thing uh, a lot of people maybe don't know is that we manufacture hydrants here at Waterus Company. That's actually a large part of our business. and. Uh, I quite often get the question, you know, why does it take 19 or 20 or 21 turns to open that hydrant? It seems ridiculous. And, and the reason for that is simple. It prevents you from opening it too fast and creating a water hammer. And NFBA has put the same type of restrictions on the fire apparatus where they have a requirement for a slow open intake valve. I'd like to add, we're not, we're not the hydrant experts, but uh, we know the hydrant experts. We know hydrants. All right, 